My five thoughts on how to perform a monologue that will attract a producer or a director to give you that role you've been waiting to have. Okay, I, before I go on, I would like to let you understand that acting, like they say, is an innate human sensibility, which means it has to be in you. And in, performing, in performance, whether it's a monologue or you are actually acting with your fellow actors, um, you need to understand one simple thing. It has to do with the emotion, you know, taking the audience in an emotional journey. So what is monologue? Monologue, actually, it's an extended speech by a single character, which means a, it, it's about a single character's mental rendition, if you like, put it that way. What is, I'm trying to explain is that it has to do with a single character talking to either uh, someone else that we're not seeing or an audience that we're not seeing. So anytime that you are giving the opportunity to do a monologue or you want to do a monologue by yourself, there are a few thoughts I need to share with you so that you will do a better monologue. Number one, exercise. You see, some, for some reason I don't understand, some people feel that acting is something that you could just wake up in the morning and then boom, you do it. Anytime you are called, boom, you do it. Yes, it's, 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 it can be done that way, but if you want to perform a monologue that people will see and they will fall in love with it, you must be mentally ready, physically ready and vocally ready, which means that three parts of yourself, you have to exercise it regularly. So for you to perform your monologue, you need to first and foremost prepare mentally. You need to be able to put yourself in a place where you can understand what your character is about to do and the situation world that your character is using what we call the magic if, which is what if you are in the position of that particular character. If you're going to play a reverend father, what if you are a reverend father in real life? If you're going to play an arm robber, what if you're an arm robber in real life? By the time you ask yourself that question, by the time you stimulate yourself with magic if, you'll be able to begin to understand the the idea of mentally uh, men preparing mentally the second one is physical exercise you need to properly exercise yourself always you need to exercise yourself always and then you need to also vocally do some vocal exercises because you know an actor is hired for two things because of his body and because of his voice so if you're not prepared if you don't do these exercises if you're not regularly fit in these areas you probably may or may not be able to deliver a good monologue the number two is uniqueness you need to be unique you need to be authentic and you need to be original now the reason why we are looking for an, an alternative cast or we're looking for another actor the reason why a producer or a director puts out an audition or asks you to do a monologue is because he's looking for he or she is looking for a different personality that can interpret a particular role you see when you want to play a role and you look at Nollywood movies and then you choose one particular character maybe your role has to do with maybe being a wicked person and then you look at patients of Zorko and say this woman has been acting this way let me act like patients of Zorko they're not asking you to be patients of Zorko they're not asking you to be as funny uh, they're not asking you if, if it's a comedy script they're not asking you to act like Nkemo they're not asking you to act like Mr. Ibu they're not asking you to act like any of the stars that you cherish they're asking you to be yourself to be unique to be authentic to be original if you do not, for any reason, if there's any reason you, you don't infuse your own personality to your monologue, they, they will just know that you are trying to imitate somebody else. And, and acting is not imitation, really. Acting is becoming. It's about becoming yourself, finding yourself in every character. So any character that you want to portray in your monologue, you must have to first and foremost find yourself. That is where your originality comes in. That is where your authenticity comes in. That is where your uniqueness comes in. So you must be unique in delivering your monologue. No two monologues should look alike. No two persons should deliver the same monologue and they look alike. No, because no two personalities is the same. So you must have to find your uniqueness. You must have to find your, your originality in delivering your, 
your monologue. Your monologue should speak emotionally to the people. Remember, the essence of the whole thing about, about acting is being able to transport your audience from one place to the other. So if you must, if you are, if you are going to be able to transport your audience from one uh, where they are to where you want them to be, to the state you want them to be, whether it's a state of laughter, it's a state of crying, it's a psychological thing. Any state you want to transport your audience to, you must infuse your own personality which means if you're going to cry in your monologue how would you cry in a normal day when something gets when, when you are hurting if you are going to laugh how will you laugh when you are when you are happy it's it's about how you laugh it's not about how you've seen them laugh in a movie for instance you are playing a, 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 a an occultic person and you're supposed to laugh and because you've seen Hollywood movies where they did ha 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 and then they, they say laugh and that's the, that's the first thing that comes to mind so you don't you know imitate what you've seen you find a way to bring out your own uniqueness and infuse your own uniqueness that is what will make a director or a producer be like okay wow this is a different thing from what i've been seeing so for you to stand out in in delivering your monologue find your own uniqueness find your own creativity find your own insight find your personality in the character you want to depict number three be flexible you see, you need to also be able to record your monologue in different ways. At the spot of the moment, you know, how you feel in the morning may not be how you feel in the afternoon, may not be how you feel in the evening. And you never can really tell which of them that will suit into the character properly. You know, this has to do with your, with your mental state. It has to do with your psychological state. So regardless of how good you are as an actor, if you are not... Or if you're not feeling great like I don't mean if you're ill I mean if you're not if you're not excited at every po- at a point in time and you want to deliver an exciting role you, pro- you will not deliver it properly so what you need to do is be flexible try try out the monologue in different ways try it out try the acting at different tempo try it out at different means by the time you're able to you know if, if you are flexible enough in your in your delivery in your character delivery you will see yourself in different ways because really it, it, w- w- you, you are not the same person the way you talk when probably you have not eaten it's not the same way you talk when you are you are you have eaten now now that is that is your real life situation so depending on the mood that you are as a person depending on the mood you are at a point in time it may affect the impact that your monologue will give so be flexible make sure you try it a different try it out differently try it at, uh, with different styles different uh, punctuations try different means because you should understand that monologue whenever you are asked to do a monologue it's an opportunity to act all right it's an opportunity to act don't focus on the outcome no don't focus on the outcome focus on the process your focus should be on the process so be flexible enough try try doing it a different way that process helps you to even develop better as an actor all right remember the essence is not what the outcome will be like no the essence is how do i walk through this journey because if, if a producer or a director is going to give you a role he's going to be he or she's going to be trusting that when I give this person this role, this person will be able to bring his or her A game, both physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, to deliver exactly what that character would have done. Because every character is dead on the script until you as an actor steps in and gives that character life. So the producer or the director is depending on you to be able to give a, a character life. And for him or she, uh, or, or she to be convinced, for him or her rather to be convinced, you need to show it off in a monologue. For instance, if you're asked to do a monologue, either in a physical audition or an, an online audition, either ways, try it out differently, try it out different ways. Show people around you, show those that you trust, you know, that can give you uh, 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 judgment and you trust their judgment. So by the time you share different uh, uh, var- uh, varieties that that you try the monologue on, you, they will be able to be like, okay, wow, this one really depicts this character more. And in doing that, you must also be able to study what your character is like. What is the goal of your character in the script? Even if it is just one line, that one line will explain to you what that character intended to achieve, what was his goal, where he's coming from, where he's going to. Because if you don't know the given circumstances of your character, you probably will not be able to deliver a good 
uh, monologue. So to deliver a good monologue, there's a lot. So you have to first know the given circumstances. What led that character to where it is right now? Where is the character heading to? What is the character saying? What are the obstacles that the character is facing? When, by the time you know these things, it will help you to be flexible in delivery. You will be able to do, try it out different ways and then at the end of the day, you may be able to come out with something that is better off than how you've been doing it before now. Number four, see every monologue as an opportunity to act. All right, so anytime you are given an opportunity before the camera, see it as your life. Live it. Enjoy it. Don't, don't, don't try to force it. Don't try to do more than you could have done on, in, on a regular day. This is, this is it's an opportunity to express yourself. See it that way. See it like this is that big moment. That's the, this is the Oscar performance. This, this is the, the biggest performance. This is the biggest stage you have, all right? By the time you begin to see monologue as an opportunity to, you know, show forth what you have, all right? Show forth the talent that you have, all right? You will begin to, you know, you begin to see yourself in a state that you become a bit larger than life. And that's what monologue is intended to, to do because you are not speaking to a, a character that you are seeing. You are either talking to an audience that is before a camera or you are talking to uh, a fellow character that you are not seeing. So it's all by yourself. Those punctuations, you know, you, you, you need to know where the punctuation should come in, where the dramatic pauses should come in. You know, it's, it's all about, it's all about, you know, stepping into the character and becoming the best version of that character. So see it, see it as an opportunity to sell yourself. All right, but don't oversell yourself because so when I mean overselling, it simply means overacting. Because in a quest of trying to sell yourself, some people mistake it and then they overact. All right, so you be natural. You know, see it as 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 once in a lifetime opportunity to deliver. And I tell people when when you are doing a monologue, and that monologue is going to be on your social media. Remember that your social media is like your new CV. So if 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 you chat up an actor sorry if you chat up a producer or a director and he he or she looks through your profile that's your social media handle maybe your instagram facebook or whatever or your youtube channel and he looks through it and that producer looks through what you have done the clips the monologue that you performed in the past it should be able to give that producer the understanding that hey you know what you are doing remember you, you cannot you cannot show all your acting skill within the net within the one minute two minutes monologue that are being required by most actors but at least you can show that you have prospect of either adjustments or adopting so a producer wants to see somebody that is flexible and also wants to see somebody that always always wants to take an opportunity take advantage of every monologue you do take it out take it take it like the biggest role all right because the thing about this social media era is that you don't even know which of the clips that is going to make you a star you could just be sleeping one day and the next thing is you are getting you know likes and shares and hit and notifications all around you because of maybe one monologue you have done so if you must have to do it you must have to do it well all right see it as an opportunity see it as your last chance see it as the, that you have been paid a million dollar or two million dollars to perform it. See it as the last resort. See it as your CV. See it as anything you want to see that will help you, that will, that will trigger you to give it the best shot. Give it the best shot, all right? But in giving it the best shot, don't overstretch yourself. Make it normal. Make it unique to yourself. Make it, make it, make it your 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 dream come true. Make it like you're living your own dream, all right? Be, 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 be at ease, all right? Be at ease. Don't, don't, don't force it, all right? That, that way you'll be able to, you know, show that you have the capacity to, you know, douse tension and deliver properly. My number five thought on how to deliver a monologue that really will stand you out and make a producer, a director hire you is choose a written script. Now, this might not be what many people will tell you to do, but I prefer that you use a, a scripted um monologue for you to be able to deliver because one one, one thing that 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 makes people you know uh, you know deliver monologue that uh, not enticing that is not able to hold sway is they try to use their own words you're not a writer so sometimes 
you trying to express yourself using your own words might limit you because you don't know how to you know fix together those sweet words sweet dialogue you know that that makes things look so beautiful when it it comes out so if you are not giving if if a monologue if someone asks you to do a monologue and you're not giving a specific script or you're not giving a specific instruction or maybe go to this play or go to this script or you, you have not been given any script at all to work with it is important you work with a writer if you are not an actor that is also a writer it is important that you speak with a writer to help you construct that monologue write that one page monologue that you will deliver and people will be like wow that is great because it's one thing to have the acting skill it's another thing to have have the lines the wordings you know that 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 keeps people abreast to till the end of your monologue so if you have like one or two minutes monologue and you are you are are trying to figure out what to say or you're trying to use your own words you probably may, may not be able to deliver rightly so it's important that if you cannot pick a script if you cannot pick a script from from online or you're sorry if you have not been given it is important to it is important to say that if you have not been given a script please find a way to get a writer to script your monologue or you can go with a scripted uh, monologue already that is online that is if it serves the purpose to which you want to do that monologue don't do improvisation so to say except you're just doing it for fun but if you're doing it for a specific reason if you're doing it to attract an attention of a of a director or producer don't just do don't 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 do improvisation i I will advise that get a script script your monologue have your thought process so that all the things that you need to know will be pretty much defined in the script so that you will have a line of thought and then you have a direction okay there you have it my five thoughts on how to deliver a monologue that really will inspire a producer a director to hire you all right there's a lot more about monologue delivery that i could share with you but i would also like to hear from you what are the things the challenges you've been having about your monologue that you would like me to speak about are are there producers or directors who have been turning down your monologue and you want to share that with me please uh, write on the comment section below so that i get to know you get to meet you and if you like this video please make sure it gives it a thumbs up now next video i'm going to be doing and i'm making sure that you're going to see it is how you can position yourself on social media as an actor for you to attract a producer or a director. I will be doing that video next. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscription bo- uh, button right now. And turn on the notification button as well so that you get to know when I post that video that will be coming by next week. Please make sure that you subscribe.